In this video, we will discuss classical probability. Classical probability uses sample spaces to determine the numerical probability that an event will happen. You do not need to perform an experiment to determine that probability. Classical probability assumes that all outcomes in the sample space are equally likely to occur. When a six-sided die is rolled, each outcome has the same probability of occurring. Since there are six outcomes, each outcome has a probability of one-sixth. Equally likely events are events that have the same probability of occurring. Here's the formula for classical probability. The probability of any event E is the number of outcomes in E divided by the total number of outcomes in the sample space. The probability is denoted P of E equals N of E over N of S, where N of E is the number of outcomes in event E, and N of S is the number of outcomes in the sample space. For instance, uh, if we look at a die and we say that the event E is rolling an even number, there would be three um, outcomes in that event, while the number of outcomes in the sample space is still six. Probabilities are expressed as fractions, decimals, or percentages. The rounding rule for probabilities says that probabilities should ex be expressed as reduced fractions or rounded to three decimal places. For example, find the probability of getting a black six when one card is randomly selected from an ordinary deck. Solution is there are 52 cards in an ordinary deck and there are two black sixes, the six of clubs and the six of spades. The probability of getting a black six is two over 52, which we reduce to one over 26, and that's approximately equal to zero uh, to 38 one thousandths. Here's another example. If a family has three children, find the probability that exactly two of them are boys. The sample space for the genders of three children is the same as we established in the previous video. Three boys, two boys and a girl, a boy, a girl, and a boy, a boy and two girls, a girl and two boys, a girl, a boy, and a girl, two girls and a boy, or three girls. Of these, three have exactly two boys, boy, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, boy. The probability of having exactly two boys is three eighths. In discussion of probability, the word and, when applied to two events, means that we are seeking the probability that both events occur. The word or means we want to know the probability that either event occurs. For example, if we look for the probability of drawing one card from a standard deck and getting a queen and a heart, there is only one card that satisfies this, the queen of hearts, so the probability is 1 over 52. However, if we look for the probability of drawing a queen or a heart, we want to draw any heart or any queen. There are 13 hearts and four queens in the deck, one of which is the queen of hearts. So the probability is 16 over 52, which is equal to four over 13, which is about uh, 308 thousandths. If we want the probability of drawing a queen or a king, there are four queens and four kings with no overlap. The probability is eight over 52, which is equal to two over 13. Note, in the case where we look for a queen or a heart, we are using the inclusive or, since there is the possibility of drawing a card that satisfies both conditions. In the case where we look for a queen or a king, we use the exclusive or, because no possibility of overlap exists. Here's an example. A card is drawn from an ordinary deck. Find the probability of drawing a heart, a black card, the eight of diamonds, a queen, or a face card. Here are the solutions. There are 13 heart cards in any suit. The probability of drawing a heart is 13 over 52, or one fourth. There are two suits that are black, so 26 black cards in the deck. Probability of drawing a black card is 26 over 52, or one half. There is one eight of diamonds, so the probability of drawing the eight of diamonds is one over 52. There are four queens. The probability of drawing a queen is four over 52 or one over 13. 
there are 12 face cards, Jack, Queen, and King. There, uh, the probability of drawing a face card is 12 over 52 or 3 over 13. Here are some probability rules that are important to know. The probability of any event E is a number between and including 0 and 1. So 0 is less than or equal to the probability of E, which is less than or equal to 1. The sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes of a sample space is 1. If an event E cannot occur, the probability is 0. For example, the probability of rolling a 7 on a 6-sided die is 0. If an event E is certain, always occurs, the probability is 1. The probability of drawing a card from a standard deck is 1. 